Fati Moore, the Secretary General of the United Nations. In the name of freedom and human dignity, I would like to go through the crimes of President Saleh against his people. Members of Nations Board, the Commissioners of Human Rights Organizations, Saleh, his family and followers have blocked our way to livelihood by imposing a collective punishment. They deprived us from essential rights and services such as electricity, fuel and transportation between cities and provinces. Saleh has done this to show us his ugly face and the dictator inside him, oppressor and tyrant by killing the sitter and young men, destroying the houses of, of citizens, as well as by kidnapping the activists. Moreover, Saleh has threatened us to do more, taking the advantage of the silence of the international communities who are responsible before nations. We are addressing you who are responsible before us, dear human rights, dear commissioners and activists, addressing your conscience and humanness. Please, we are being killed twice, once by Saleh himself and the other is by your silence, your unjustified silence. In the name of human dignity and Yemeni people are urging you to bring them back their freedom, dignity, and to stop the bloodshed stream. Practically speaking, we are asking you to do so some certain things. Number one, sending an investigation commission to witness the crimes of Saleh and his family. Number two, rising the criminal profile of Saleh and his family to the ICC. Number three, you are not expected to give Saleh and his family any guarantees that gives them immunity from ICC. Number three or four, sorry, freezing the money and the assets of Saleh and his family. Number five, freezing weapon deals with Saleh regime. Number six, suspending any kinds of financial, military or economical supports to this tyrant regime. Adding to all this, Saleh has killed about 517 people in Yemen and also 19,627 were injured. So from this place, from my place, we as Yemenis, from here we entreat you by the United Nations Treaty and the Human Rights Convention and the basic system of the International Crime Court to stand with Yemen youth and people to achieve their legal needs for the change, building a new modern Yemen and democratic Yemen and also civilized country, popular youth revolution Yemen. Thank you very much.